All right, so this video is uh, a guide on how to install uh, images for practically any node in PNET Labs um, by using iShare2, which allows you to run uh, some commands on your PNET Labs uh, SSH terminal and using these commands you can pull down one or more images uh, for all different kinds of devices from Palo Alto to Cisco to FortiGate to Big IP and so forth and automatically install them and use them for free um, with very little effort. And the way you do this is this guide assumes that you've already set up PNET Labs. If you've got EVNG and you've got EVNG Community, PNET Labs is basically EVNG Pro, but for free, and it's even better. So if you're considering going to EVNG Pro instead, I would just save you money and I would just go and look up how to set up PNET Labs. And I would use that instead. Once you've got PNET Labs set up and installed, assuming you've already gone through and done all that, uh, what you can do is you can install iShare2 by going into this GitHub repository and all the links are in the, in the description. And the, there's the full page that details how to use this, uh, how to use iShare2 and all the various commands and stuff. But the main one you want to be interested in, main part we want to be interested in at this point is this one line installation. Use this wget command. So copy this, just click here to copy it. Log into your SSH terminal for your PNET Labs server. Make sure you've got the privileges to install um, any software packages and you would paste in and you would run this command. Now I've already done all this, um, so I'm not gonna go through the installation process. Paste that in, hit enter, run run that and then go through any prompts that, that come up um, and go through the install. Once you've done that, run the command I share to and press enter. And that's gonna give you a menu with all these various different options. Um, and what happens is when you do a pull with I share to to download an image, it's a bunch of shell scripts and it basically goes off to this repository, labhub.eu.org and some other backup repositories that they have. And it comes here and it grabs uh, one of the files from this site um, and it will download and install it for you. It will also run all the various extraction commands, uh, permission, permission commands, etc., that you would normally have to manually run within EVNG, um, along with creating folders and doing any renaming and such. The scripts within iShare2 does all this for you. So it's very, very easy to download and set things up. If you've got EVNG Pro, then you can just come to this site and download any images that you might be missing from here and just run the go through the usual setup guides on the EVNG site. If you've got PNET Labs, then all we need to do is use iShare2 um, and its commands to pull any of these images. So I'm going to do that now and I'm going to pick out a node that I, know I don't have installed or set up um, and I'm going to use iShare2 to pull that node. So let's say if I wanted a CSR 1000V and I wanted it on code 16, so XC16 here. So I'm going to use iShare2 to try and do that. So I can do iShare2 and hit enter, and that gives me the cert, the list of options that I have. So I'm going to use search. And for the search, you search either all of them, or you can search a type of image, such as QMU or IOL images, and then you can follow it up with a keyword. So I'm going to do a search over all the QMU images, and I'm going to search a keyword, and I'm going to search for CSR. 
and you can see it goes off and it fetches the entire list of all the different CSR images. And I said I wanted one on XC with 16 X. So any of these here, I believe it would be. You can pick any from the list, any that you want, if you've got any preferred version of code. If you want 1703. So what you do to download the images is use the ID. So on the left hand side here, this numerical ID is what you would use to pull the image using iShare 2's pull. So I'm going to pick, I'm just going to pick any really. Um, I'll pick this one, 220, 160307, 220. I share two, pull, and with the options, I have the type and then the ID. So for the type, I'm going to put Q, and then for the ID, I'm going to put 220. That's now going to go off and it's going to download that image. It's going to place it into this image path. It's going to install. It's going to run any commands that are required, such as like fixing permissions, um, any extraction commands that you would normally have to do manually, as I stated before. It's doing automatically. Here's the percentage for the progress. You also want to bear in mind that if you're on any kind of network that has like a data uh, limit, such as like a mobile network or something, you may not want to do those downloads on that type of network because the images are like over a gig in size. You can see here now it's downloaded it successfully and we've also fixed any permissions automatically as well. If I now come over to PNet Labs, and I refresh the page, I'm doing add. I've now got my CSR 1000V with 16. And you can see here 16.0.3.07, which I picked off the site just then. Go, going back here, we can see 16.03.07. I'm going to try and start that node up. I'm going to try and open it up in uh, Secure CRT. As you can see there, that's now booting up. Um, and that's going to load up the device. You can do the same with like Palo Alto images, Fortigate images, etc. So if I do a share to and a search, QView and a Palo, we've got the Palo Alto images that we've got. I believe they're also adding uh, one with code 11 on shortly. It's Fortinet and Fortigate devices. big IP, CRF5 big IP, etc. and so on. So get PNet Labs, install iShare 2, it's easy enough to do. Um, and then just use it to download and install images for all your nodes, run them for free um, with very little effort. Um, and I hope that helps.